our athletes start practicing very early on. We do them in our beginner classes. Um, we typically start our full term practice with learning how to do a prep. Um, and that prep actually looks like a um, start on our toe and just up to a passe. Our babies, our preschoolers, and our parent top kiddos practice that passe on balance beam and on floor. We look for them to get on high toe with their knee up or their toe up to their knee. Um, so it's something that we need to take a little bit of time to talk about today, and I'm going to do just that. So why is a full turn so important? Um, full turns are in both floor and beam. Um, they are a requirement very early on. Um, our, our bronze athletes for our Excel comp competitive team have to perform a full turn all the way up to the Olympics. Of course, in those cases, the Olympians are doing more than a single full turn, and um, that takes a little bit more practice. But for our purposes today, we're just going to talk about what that full turn looks like. Now, um, as far as full turns go, um, there are different ways of doing full turns. Um, there is the dancer's full turn, where they start out to the side in a prep position and they turn outward. Um, but for gymnastics purposes, we are going to do a full turn that turns with our toe up, okay? With our knee going up and around. Um, full turns are kind of evolving. Um, they change all the time and the requirements that the judges are looking for change too. So um, at our last national congress that we attended last June, um, we actually found out that full turns that are started from the toe where the athlete steps forward and steps directly onto their toe are judged higher than an athlete that starts from a bent knee prep position. Now this position used to be the way we, te we taught them um, and that is still a very effective method to getting that full turn completed. However, judges are still looking for athletes to remain on their toes at all times. And so by starting with that straight leg and prepping on our toes, we actually see our athletes score higher on their floor and balancing routines. Now, um, for our team parents, it's really important that you guys understand that a full turn does not count unless the athlete finishes in the passe and steps forward, all the way forward. Now, typically, the leg position can be passe, it can be at the ankle, it can be straight, it can be horizontal. Regardless of where the leg position is, um, they ask that you step forward. If an athlete completes a turn, but steps off to the side, a little bit crooked, behind them, then that turn will not count. And that athlete should probably repeat that skill. Now, another key feature of a full turn is the arm, okay? Now, if our arms are not super glued to our ears, um, we typically see those kiddos struggle, especially on balance beam. Remember that the goal of balance beam is to stay as straight and as tall as possible, and it's really hard to do that if our arms are in front of our ears. So, one of the techniques that our coaches will really utilize in teaching a full turn is having our athletes put their arms behind their head. They try to reach behind them. My team parents may have seen us um, in practice before putting a yardstick behind our athletes so that they can grab for that, so they can feel that really tall, upright posture. We also want their chest to be nice and open as they reach backwards, and that actually sets them up for a super straight line on their leotard, um, like we talked about before, and helps them pull tall. Another aspect of those arms is actually when to drop them. I know it sounds a little crazy, but on balance beam, we actually want our athletes to drop their arms one at a time um, throughout their turn, and that actually stops their turn, um, and it helps them stay controlled and squared on the balance beam, um, which helps them to land that full turn correctly. So our team athletes are actually asked to prep into their turn and drop halfway through. Now mine is not perfect because I honestly have not done full turns in a very long time, but I did want to kind of demonstrate what that would look like. So the athletes, um, especially in our team, and they have, they should know this, we have practiced this before, um, but they will drop one arm out to the side when they're about halfway through, and almost immediately after that, drop out the other arm out to the side. And like I said, that's gonna stop their turn and help them control that skill. On balance beam especially, control of your skill is very important. And if the judges can't see you control that element, you will receive some kind of deduction. Um, if you want to practice these at home, I suggest that you make sure you're wearing socks 
or that you are on carpet and that you practice pulling tall and tight, make sure that you're safe, don't overspin. We wanna try to get controlled single turns where you step forward and finish. Chin up on that finish and that helps it look like you really have done an excellent job and the judges really like to see that approach. If you have questions, shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to talk about those full turns. And remember parents, those are a very important skill and they need to be practiced at home. I'll see you later, bye.